NASA is currently investigating two fundamentally different approaches to achieve wireless power transmission by which the sun's energy might be moved in space and delivered from space to markets on the Earth. One likely method is to convert the sunlight into a low-intensity microwave beam, as discussed in another video segment. The other is through the use of electric or solar-pumped lasers. While a microwave beam is the most efficient approach, it requires a very large transmitter, called a phased array, to operate successfully. Alternatively, even though less efficient, a laser-based approach might start smaller using multiple satellites that could be launched individually, unlike the single, very large platform needed for microwave power beaming. Next, you'll see some of the advances that NASA and its team have made in the concepts and technologies for both microwave beaming and laser power beaming for wireless power transmission. The technology of wireless power transmission is not without precedent. Significant demonstrations and verifications of electric power transfer efficiency and high power delivery at long range have been accomplished by NASA. The most dramatic of these was the NASA JPL Goldstone demonstration conducted in 1975 in which 34,000 watts of power was safely transmitted over 1.5 kilometers at an efficiency of greater than 82%. It was then, and remains today, what can be called the world record for high-power, long-distance wireless power transmission. The NASA JPL Venus Station 26-meter antenna, with its 500,000-watt transmitter, was used to perform a 1.54-kilometer wireless power transmission to a rectenna array located on the Goldstone site's collimation tower. 4,590 rectenna elements with high-efficiency gallium arsenide diodes were fabricated at the Raytheon Microwave and Power Tube Lab and assembled in rectenna subarrays of about one meter square. From each DC output of the 17 subarrays, approximately one-third of the power was routed to a pair of 300-watt lamps. The lamps were arranged in the geometry of the rectenna array and wired to corresponding positions such that illumination of the lights would represent the received power beam at the rectenna. Of the calibrated RF power flux density that fell on the 24 square meter rectenna array on June 5, 1975, 82.5% was collected and converted to direct current output. It can be seen from the results of the successful 54% end-to-end laboratory demonstration of wireless power transmission and the successful test at Goldstone of sending 34 kilowatts at a mile range that we can confidently predict the performance of a wireless power transmission system, whether it be direct or laser or microwave or with relays. And this technology should help NASA have successful missions in the future. An alternative to photovoltaic technology is to pump a suitable high-power laser by using the sun's radiant energy directly. Here we see one possible application that would allow spacecraft and satellites to be powered from a remote energy station. Spacecraft that are designed to utilize this resource would not have to carry their own solar panels or radioisotope thermoelectric generators and would therefore only require a small battery to supplement power delivery during periods when the beam is not available. Currently, spacecraft designs and operations are limited by the availability of energy resources. Technology such as this would pave the way for expanded space missions. The ultimate application is powering human activities on Earth. Here we see a number of directly pumped solar lasers that are orbiting the Earth high in a geosynchronous orbit. Even though there appear to be several independent satellites in this constellation, they work together to form one local satellite system. There would be many such satellite systems in geosynchronous orbit. Ultimately, the energy beams from these satellites may either be concentrated at one receiving station on Earth or sent to many smaller and remote receiving stations where the energy is most needed. The directly pumped solar space power satellite is a technology under development that has great potential to solve many of the current limitations in power beaming technology and light the way to a brighter future for humanity.